Hey everybody, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brian Panovich. Update on our severe weather threat this afternoon and this evening. The threat for tornadoes is increasing pretty quickly this afternoon because the ingredients are there that we're going to get some tornadic storms, at least rotating thunderstorms. And with this type of setup, they don't need to be really big storms to cause some issues. So let's go right to the map I just posted on my Facebook page. Make sure you go to my page for the latest updates. Don't wait for these to show up in your feed. Either get notifications or go right to my page. But you can see what's going on here. We've got an upgrade to a medium threat um, from or high threat really from the Storm Prediction Center. And the reason is, is we've got a 10% chance of tornadoes in the area in red and a 5% chance in the area in orange. The uh, kind of gold or yellow is a 2% chance. Now, I know those seem like low chances, especially if you're thinking about rainfall. This isn't a rainfall chance. Remember, a 10% or 5% chance of rainfall is not a big deal if you get caught in that because you just get wet. If you get caught in this, you could die. Um, so it's a big difference. The threat from a 5 or 10% chance of a tornado is much different than the threat from a passing shower. Uh, they aren't treated the same. Anytime I see a 5% or higher, that's when you start to get a little concerned because that's a pretty potent setup uh, for our area. So remember, go to our page, my page at least, and you can see all of these graphics. So there's the timing, just to give you a heads up. I think the it's really going to be an afternoon and evening but here's the thing as soon as the sun comes out and i'll show you in a minute we're starting to see some sun come out we could see things start to crank up earlier than this but i really think it's after lunchtime to about nine or ten o'clock tonight with the peak being right in that early evening time frame three four five six o'clock time frame there's your 10 percent chance all right let's get right to what why we're, we have this threat you can see why that is the remnants of what was at one point Hurricane Harvey. It's just an area of low pressure, but it's brought all its wind shear. And wind shear is the wind changing direction with height. So the winds are going like this around this thing. And right in this area, we've actually got some enhanced wind shear because along this front, the winds are changing direction. And that front is draped somewhere in here. I wouldn't put too much stock in this actual depiction. I think it might be a little further south, close Charlotte, but it's in this general area. That's why you saw that 10% chance. So what's going to happen is, as the sun is now breaking out, we're going to see storms and even lines of storms break out and move toward the northeast. And as they get up in here, they will try to churn a little bit, and that's going to cause uh, the winds in the storm to rotate counterclockwise, which puts us in the potential for tornadoes. So let me show you the kind of setup for this. I'm going to go to the modeling. This is a look at the modeling. We'll quickly show you the cape. The cape is something you'll hear me talk about. Think of this as just thunderstorm fuel. This is the fuel that storms need to develop. You can see already this morning we're getting some of those greens and yellows showing up in there. But as we go into the afternoon hours, you'll see real quickly we're starting to see some yellows and reds, which are cape values that are pretty, pretty high. Now, in this case, we don't need a ton of fuel because we've got such a big engine to put that fuel in. That is our old tropical system. So let me back this up and show you the unfolding of this on the radar. We'll back it up. So this is 10 o'clock this morning, and 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, actually showing storms. I think that's a little early, but 11 to 12, we could see some start to develop. These could be tame initially because it's not super warm. By lunchtime, there we are, 1 o'clock, excuse me, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. This is when things get interesting because these, these don't look really impressive, but these are individual cells. Some of these could be rotating in here. So again, this won't be widespread. It's a 10% chance. But again, that means several of these storms could be rotating as we go into the evening. This is going towards 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, midnight, 1 a.m. So let's back it up, and I want to show you something we call updraft helicity. Updraft helicity is basically the model figuring out whether the storm is rotating or not. And you can see even as soon as this morning, we've got a couple storms that show some weak rotation possibly moving across the area. But as we get later into the morning and afternoon, this is about lunchtime. This is a one, a 2 o'clock, excuse me. You can see we've got a couple storms tracking right across Charlotte and over here in Cabarrus County. Now the model, we don't know exactly where those storms will get, but you can kind of get the picture. They're going to be somewhere in here. Um, that's showing a rotating storm around 2 o'clock over Charlotte. 3 o'clock, they're crossing over 4, 5, 6, 7. You see a couple more trying to develop up towards Hickory and Statesville. So this is what we're going to be watching out for 
um, as we go through the evening, the potential that any storms that develop. And again, this becomes kind of a watch, wait and watch kind of game with the radar. We're looking for a couple things. I'm looking on the satellite image. Where's the skies clearing? Where the storm's going to interact that that clearing sky? And where's this boundary? So I, I'm really starting to focus in on this area around York County, Chester County right now, um, up to Mecklenburg County. So this would be an area right in here that I'm going to start watching for some development this afternoon. So remember, stay weather aware this afternoon. Make sure your phone is charged. Make sure you're following me on social media. I will be posting frequent updates as things change. And of course, complete coverage this afternoon. I'm going into work early. I'll be there um, as soon as Larry's done at midday. We'll have three people there ready to keep you covered. Be safe, everybody. Good news. This stuff's gone for the weekend, but we got to get through today and tonight.